Today, I will demonstrate the steps in making a compost. First step, prepare the materials. A good compost should have materials that contains carbon and nitrogen. Brown materials like twigs, dried leaves, and even papers are the good source of carbon. Carbon gives energy to the microorganisms which are responsible in breaking down the compost. While green materials like kitchen waste or food scraps such as fruit and vegetable peelings, eggshells, and even green leaves like this one are the good source of nitrogen. Plus, in making compost, we need the ratio of two browns and one green. The second material that we need is a basket or container. Just make sure that the basket has small holes to let the oxygen enter to decompose the compost easily. Aside from that, we need plastic cover and clothes pin. And lastly, we need water. Now, let's proceed to step 2. Step 2, cut the materials into small pieces to fasten the decomposition of the compost. Cut them just like what I did in my materials over here. Just make sure that they are cut into small pieces. Step number 3, layer the materials in the basket. We have to start from the easiest to decompose. paper in the bottom, okay, set up the paper in the bottom, followed by the green material, and then the brown or the dried leaves. Let's proceed now to step 4. Add the layer until the basket has been full. So we will just continue the process. Once the bat basket has already been full, then we will proceed to step number 5. Add water to the compost to keep it moist and to fasten the decomposition. We should always check the compost regularly to avoid it from drying out. And then we will proceed to step number six. Okay, we will now cover the compost with plastic. Step number seven. Put the compost to a place where it can get some sunlight because it will make the process of decomposition faster. We already have now a compost. Goodbye!